Welcome to part number 41 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing all of our sponsor events for Koenig. Now, I brought the Supra over because we have a lot of money now. And let's finally put all the parts on our Supra. It, it shouldn't cost us that much. We shouldn't be in complete debt or anything. We shouldn't be broke. Although, something like the Turbo is going to cost a lot of money. Okay, we have all the tires. Brakes, final weight reduction item, and then turbo's gonna be like eight thousand dollars. Yep, eight thousand. Okay, Supra is fully maxed out with tuning. I'm gonna go to the specialty shop real quick and just make sure that there's nothing else we can add to get the car up to ten stars because we unlocked some new stuff recently. Okay, we have that. Hell no, we're not adding spinners. Okay, that's all done. Okay, engine neon is what we need to do. Alright, man, see you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by anyways, appreciate it. That's right, because engine neon we didn't unlock, or we had it unlocked, but we didn't have it in our car yet. Because of the fact that we didn't have level 3 tuning parts. Okay, last order of business is the body shop because there should be like one or two things we can buy for the car to get it up to 10 stars. Okay, what can we buy? Okay, we already have a land. I, okay, that gives us that many points. Okay. I don't want to do a carbon fiber trunk yet. Because the thing about carbon fiber trunk is that, okay, yeah, we, okay, never mind. Well, our car is now 10 stars. We just bought a double roof scoop. That looks pretty good. You gotta do what you gotta do to win, bro. And there we go. There's our 10 star Toyota Supra blacktop bandits DVD cover. All right, I, that's all the phone calls then. You know what? Since we're here, ha <laughs> ha, oh, that's that's fucking great. Ah, uh, sorry, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> you know what? Since we're here, we might as well just rice out the rest of our cars, shall we? Let's go ahead and buy Raptor body kits because I have a freaking dinosaur on the side. So that makes sense. Hoods? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, that's fine. Let's get that. Okay. Holy shit, that's atrocious. All right, one more car to rice out. Actually, no, no, no. That car will have the sweeper body kits. Let's keep let's keep the sweepers on there. All right, the Supra is definitely the best car I have now. GTO is still a good option though. GTO is still a good option. All right. 
so now that we got all of that out the way for for the time being let's go ahead and do our first sponsor race which is a street cross event over here on the west side of Cole Harbor Yeah, I don't care. I have a list. Yeah, this Supra is ridiculously fast. And looks freaking good, too. Why don't you just tune up the car? I don't know. Well, what car? Wait, you're using the Sauber, right? At Indy? Yeah, okay. Okay, ne never mind. I, I don't know what you can do. <laughs> Dude, this car is... Wow, this thing is amazing. All right, sweet. We win. Only that many credits? Holy fuck. So you're balling on the budget then right now. All right, the next um, sponsor race is back at the city center. Okay, so here's our next sponsor event. At the drag strip. I was gonna say it's the airport, but it's actually the train yard. Okay, we're we're home free. There we go. We win. Okay, so there's one more sponsor event and obligation over in Beacon Hill to sprint race. Okay, so that was kind of quick. Although still a bit lengthy. Oh, it's this race. Okay, cool. I like this track. Oh, nice job, dude. Congrats. Oh, that Lancer is hideous. Good lord. Alright, here we go. You know, it feels kind of weird doing these races now. At you know, in stage five, because it's like I remember doing these races with that shit box of a 240 that I had. Well, I still have it, but it, it's not as bad as it used to be. Now I'm doing it with a super that's fully riced out, 10 stars, but actually looks good, and I'm kicking ass. I, I know, I, I follow Rhino GT4 and I spin out. Oh yeah, I know, I used to play Sky Hurricane's um, GT6 servers. I used to join his open lobbies quite a bit. 
Oh, it's gonna be a drag race, isn't it? Yes! Spin and win, Danny Sullivan style. That's what's up. Woo! You know, I'm kind of surprised at the short length of this video, so I, you know, I said, you know, screw it. Let's do a, let's do a URL event. Actually, there's a URL event that's right at the airport where, at the same area, has a, um, has a special event. We might as well do that. So yeah, right down the street is a special event. Oh, it's just a photo shoot we can do right now. Might as well do it. Nice. Oh, GT5 Part 32. You're talking about my channel? Um. Yeah, you'll see. All right, here we go for this one URL event that we're doing in this video. Yeah, actually, I don't even remember what part 32 is. Dude, some of those were recorded like back in August, I believe. I'm trying to catch up to the rest of the field and nope is getting slammed into left and right like a fucking pinball well judging by the lap count this is gonna be a championship race so I better salvage this race and finish on the podium at least or try to Just draft behind him until here. Okay, you know what? Second. Second place is not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it, you know, that's some pretty good points. We just have to beat the G35, that's our main concern. This might be a three race series, but if in case it isn't, we have to be aggressive and make sure we take the lead early like that. Well, those guys ran into early trouble. So it's a Subaru Impreza right behind me. Okay, we got an early lead. This is the one track that I know we can win at for sure because of the characteristics of this final corner and where the start finish line is. See what I mean? So I'm really not too worried about this track.
Um, I believe there's a GT5 video being uploaded today. So final lap, got a full can of nitrous, and the lead, early on, and if we lose the lead, alright, that's cool, dude, but, um, yeah, yeah, I, I don't recall which, um, what video is being uploaded today, sorry, dude, I set them to, I set them for, like, scheduling so early on that I don't really remember, <laughs> I know for sure today's Gran Turismo because NFS Underground Part 29 was uploaded yesterday as of this video recording. See what I mean? Easy. Easy, easy, easy. It is a three race championship, okay. Oh, it's this track. Great. My favorite. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I just backed out a little bit. I don't really care if the Impreza wins because I'm going to be winning the championship if I stay in my position. Right, this is that one track where in this section in this particular section the cars are so bad at apexing the corners that they lose so much speed do I play Android games no I have an iPhone dude I'm an iPhone user but in terms of mobile games I don't really play too much mobile stuff really occasionally I play PUBG mobile but that's about it And then also I have GTA San Andreas on the iOS version. Uh, yeah, iPhone. What, do you play Android games? Okay, that's a Hyundai Tiburon leading. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay, well, at least I know I can do a bump and run if I need to. Oh, that's the first race winning in Infinity. And that's why I backed out. I was like, dude, I'm not dying at the chicane. Screw that. Your brain's not working anymore? Yeah, I've been there and done that, my friend.
Okay, I hit the nitrous because I'm not too concerned about losing the race. So I'm not too concerned about a fight to the end. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Alright, cool. That is the championship. Over. Knew it. $7,000. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. Alright, let me make a thumbnail real quick for this video. And let's continue. Sweet. New car in the car lot. And uh, yeah, that's really about it so far for this video. Next time on NFS Underground 2, I'm going to take the Audi A3 and do some drift events because that car's pretty good at drifting.